playing all those nice micro quads is a blast, isn't it? But that small controller is holding you back. Why not use your Tyrannis to fly your quads? For this you need, naturally, the Tyrannis and a module DIY solution, this time provided by a nice Gobish guy and some code to that module and with all those combined you get to fly all those nice quads with the proper radio. Let's get started. I'm not sure who originally made this mod but this nice guy over the RC group called Gobish. I know I'm butchering his name but anyways uh, he made this board that connects the Arduino microcontroller board with the RF radio unit and this allows <coughs> your Tyrannis to control different micro quads with their own unique protocols. I believe there are like uh, 18 different protocols supported at the moment but Gobish is adding new protocols all the time so um, you can upgrade the code whenever he adds something that you want to fly with. I'll put the link to the description to all the um, software and well hardware links uh, where you can get the necessary software and items to complete this mod. You can contact Gobish directly and ask him for this interface board or if you don't want to go with all the hassle of soldering and flashing the code yourself you can ask him for a fully built module if he happens to have one in stock he may sell it to you. So here are the basic components that you need for this mod. First we have this connector that uh, hooks up to the module port behind the Tyrannis and it provides with all the voltages and PPM signal that the module needs to talk with the quads. Next we have this Arduino board. It's a normal 16 megahertz 5 volt variant that you can get for example from Banggood like dollar and a half so it's pretty cheap and easily available. This is the RF unit that is used to send the radio signal to those micro quads. The main purpose of this interface board is to do level conversion for the voltages. The Tyrannis is uh, providing the same voltage that it has in its battery to the back of the radio and the problem here is that the RF unit that we are going to use in this mod is only capable of handling 3.3 volts so it would burn out pretty fast if you provide all that well it's like 7 or 8 volts around that area so it couldn't handle that voltage and this board handles all the needed conversion between the radio and the module. This is uh, the USB to TTL uh, adapter well, converter adapter module that you need to be able to flash the code to the Arduino board. There's one important thing that you have to note. You may have this kind of adapters already, but as I already mentioned, the RF unit only allows 3.3 volts, and most of these, well, non brand adapter ports provide only 5 volts. So you need to have one that you can switch to use. 3.3 volts or provide to the target chip the 3.3 volts. So make sure you are using the correct one or you will damage, possibly damage, the target RF unit 
that we are using here. As I happen to own a 3D printer, I just had to try to print out the case for this module. You can find this uh, module in a Thingverse and you can print it out yourself too. There are other options too, but this worked quite well. I had some problem with the tolerances, but in the end it fits quite okay. I started up the build by soldering on the connector to the interface board. Pretty easy job this far. Next, I install the pin headers that hooks up to Arduino board to the interface board. Pretty easy job again, but may just make sure that the pins go, well, they don't shift, but they go right where they should be going. And finally, I solder it on the RF unit. I believe the hardest part is now over and it wasn't exactly hard. Just a few solder joints and you are ready. Again, just make sure that all the pins align okay and you don't solder any short between the pins. Well, unfortunately, the hole in the 3D printed case isn't for this kind of antenna connection, so I had to modify this a bit. I took it, took the antenna apart and took some heat shrink and just combined those two and I then had an antenna that I could hook up to my completed module. And now we move on to the fun part, the flashing of the code. If you look closely, you can see all these programming pins on the side of the Arduino board. You have the similar markings on your serial adapter. And here you can see that I have soldered the solder bridge on the 3.3 volt side. So it's safe for me to use this adapter with this module. Just connect the pins and Hold those together with your finger, plugging the USB cable and do the flashing. Now that the program is inside the module, you can, if you want, just install the module inside the module bay and close the lid that comes with the Tyrannis radio and you are set. I decided to install everything inside my 3D printed case, close the lid and install the module and that's it. As a last thing you need to make a new model to your Tyrannis radio for your quad or use some ready-made ones as EEPE files that you can find in RC groups. I'll provide a link for my H8 mini quad in the description. Have fun! Welcome to OpenTX. Ja. Jag kan inte sova. En. Det är bra. Det är bra. Det är bra. Mm.